What's up guys and welcome back on my channel. In this video I want to show you how to solve a little problem about the UV map using the curve to mesh node inside the geometry node system. One of you asked me to solve this problem and I'm here to satisfy this request. So let's jump in the geometry nodes. I'm using the version 4 of Blender but you can use the previous, it's the same. So we can add a simple curve bezier. Go to plus, general, geometry nodes. We can add Add a new geometry nodes system and as always we can use the curve to mesh using a circle curve to define the profile curve we need with our curve this is an example we can create the uv map as always so we need the spline parameter and we need to capture the attribute of our base curve and the profile curve linking the factor here in the value here and linking these two values in a combine XYZ to get the X and the Y of the UV vector. Next we can store this information as a vector inside our result of the mesh, linking this and calling it like UV for example. We can link this geometry here, we can create a new material using as the base color a simple checker texture to see the result in an easy way. We can't see anything because we need to set the material inside our output of the geometry and here we have this result here. Now if we want to use the new store name attribute we need to go in the shading editor here for example and instead of using the original UV that the system is using in this moment we can press ctrl T after selecting the checker texture. It was using the generated texture coordinates so instead of using these we need to add the attribute set the new uv value link the vector here delete these and you can see the correct texturing of our profiling but you can see the problem on the caps i decrease the color of the caps you can see the problem here and here so you can fix this problem in an easy way separating the faces of the caps from the entire mesh for a moment so I can link these to a separated geometry. I want to separate the face. What faces? The faces that have more than four vertices inside. So you can see we have faces here. All these faces are connected to four vertices but these two faces, these and the other to the other side. So if we insert a face neighbors node you can access to the vertices vertex count connected to each face and if this is greater than 4 we can select only these two faces link these to the selection and if I press ctrl shift and click you can see we have the only two faces here and why this because with this separation so only this selection we can replace what the same attribute of the UV already present in our mesh thanks to this store name attribute and with the UV unwrap node leaving this node as is you can link this to this store name attribute and now if I drop this viewer you can see the separation and the new UV unwrapping separately of these two faces and now we can join this result with the inverted geometry that we didn't select it, pressing shift ctrl and right drag but not linking the selection but the inverted selection this way we can select all these nodes ctrl jf2 selection of apps and we can move these a little bit we can enable the snapping tool select these three nodes ctrl jf2 replace uv for only the caps and the good thing about this procedural way is that you can change in a separated way these uv UV, adding an offset, a rotation and a scale here. So if, if I want to offset on the X or the Y, we can adjust these values directly here. Keep in mind you are touching the offset for both of the caps, okay? And if you want to modify the location, rotation and scale for all the UV mapping of the mesh, you can adjust this value here in the shading, okay? 
along the x or along the y and this is the solution of this uh, little issue thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something from it you can download this project from my camera page as always if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to my channel and see you to the next tutorial bye